Hello, everybody. It is me, Pacific. Okay. I posted something yesterday. I decided to open up my Facebook. Why did I do it? Because I thought, well, I do go back in there to access my photos, and I thought, well, let's go ahead and open it up. Now, I'm not going to live on there, but I thought, well, let's do it. Easy place to store pictures. And many of viewers of mine have asked for that. So I will manage that site along with my YouTube as best as I can. I already got a comment from a Hannah Lone. Of course, no pictures. And it suddenly dawned on me, oh, of course, now we're going to have the internet trolls. The only Hannah Lone I can find is one listed in Denver. That doesn't mean that whoever this person is, is the one writing me, but the one I pulled up, no pictures. Then it dawned on me, oh yes, anybody can make up a Facebook page just to get into somebody's Facebook. So I will make a statement. She wrote me saying I'm hypocritical because I talk about not dating white women and then I go out with a white woman. So I wanted to explain that to my viewers to be fair. She said that I'm being hypocritical. She said that I'm showing instability, showing that women have a right to have their standards or expectations high, and said that you tell people you're against Facebook and now you're on it. I have said that Facebook is for little girls, and it is. But I also know that guys and businesses and everything else are on it. I've also found out that it's a good place to share photos. And what I did talk about is girls that claim they have 5,000 friends. And I said that there's a superficialness to that. And people who are addicted to Facebook and their whole social life revolves around Facebook rather than getting out and having meaningful face-to-face -face relationships. I got a problem with that. I have a problem with women that are all getting on Facebook and that's all they do. They won't meet a man. They won't get out and meet a man. Their relational skills in the real world suck. And by the way, I want to add an indent. I cannot tell you how many businesses I go into with women where they are abrupt and rude from the minute I walk up to ask a question, get something rung up, and I think, but I'm sure they're all friendly on Facebook. So I'm right in what I'm saying. Facebook is not an icon for me. I've had several people ask me over and over about it, and I decided to relent and go ahead and use the forum, and I see no harm in that. As far as me dating the white woman I dated a week ago, I thought to myself, you know, I said what I said, and I still mean what I say, that most of the white women in our culture have problems. But it doesn't mean I won't try. Because I've learned to accept the fact, who knows, that God may have somebody special for me right out of my own culture. I don't think that's being hypocritical. Saying I'm unstable because of that, to me, is ridiculous. One can show somebody that gives somebody the benefit of the doubt and have a change and be open to that. The other thing I wanted to address is that I have said in my videos that there's nothing wrong with people having their expectations. If a woman is not comfortable dating me for whatever reason, that is her right. When I talk about hypocrisy in women and their expectations is in the case of one woman who sent me pictures with her top off or scantily clad pictures of herself and then condemned me because I was honest enough to send her the video Wine Woman and Song and she wrote me back. I never said anything about her pictures. I said, she's cute. I mean, I could have been self-righteous like I was years ago and said, wow, you dress like a slot of whore, no thanks. I didn't. I'm human. I thought she was attractive. When she condemns me for my past and things and says, I'm not interested in you this and, you know, goes on and on judging. I mean, not saying, okay, I saw the video. You're not my cup of tea. I said, okay, cool. Thanks for the honesty. But then she proceeded to tell me how unspiritual I am and on and on. I was like, okay, 
game's on. So then I said, okay, that's fine. You don't like me, but let me talk to you about your photos. And what began ever since then was a year of this woman writing me back, very self-righteously calling me dork, nerd, geek, um, whack job, on and on. I had challenged her several times, give me the name of your church so I can go visit it. She did not. I even said, why don't we meet? Let's meet face to face. She did not. I even said, let's meet at the police station. She did not. I even said, if you really want to clear the air, let's sit down and talk. She did not. And I will talk about the hypocritical double standard of women. They have their expectations on us. They condemn us and all that. They do not show the grace and love of God. I do in that I've admitted to my viewers that I've dated even a woman who admitted to me she smoked, but I thought it wasn't as much as she ended up smoking. There's a couple things. In my own humanity, I get alone. That seems to be condemned. And I'm going to say something. Because the women that are condemning me aren't black women, aren't Asian women, it's white women. Because in my channel, I am stepping on the toes of the problem that they are guilty of, and they hate it. Hannah alone has been blocked, because that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, with Facebook, I'm going to have to do what I do on YouTube. If we get the trolls come on there, we'll block them. For those that are interested in getting on the Facebook page, yes, you will see pictures of Beth, and you will see photos I haven't uploaded in quite a while. Excuse me, my cover photo right now is the one I took last summer at Red Rocks. It is Pacific Oceana, and you can either type in Lakewood, Colorado, or Denver, Colorado, and should pull it up. If you have a problem, just leave me your ID on the video, and I will go in, search it, add it. Just tell me your ID name and what city you're in so that I can add the proper one. But go ahead and try to add me. Mind you, I will conversate as best I can, but because of YouTube and this, don't be surprised if I don't always comment or comment at length. And a lot of people want to chat. I'm okay with that. But mind you, that the chatting on that is going to take away from other things. So this is what it is. I guess every rock star has to have a Facebook page. No, I didn't say I was a rock star, but you, my fan club, have made me into an icon. So therefore, I put myself out there in the medium, the social medium, and say, well, let's have fun. Expectations that women have that they have a right to. A woman has a right to be choosy about any guy she wants to date. Excuse me, I apologize for the yawns. I agree with that. But when I read the expectations of American women that he must be over six foot tall, must have a college education, must be financially secure, must never have been divorced. Okay, number one, if you're going to get on a date site and put those kinds of things, never been married before and you're in your 40s. Um, I would question why you're posting on Craigslist, Plenty of Fish, eHarmony, all those others. Let's start right there. We live in a culture where 50% of all marriages end in divorce. 50% of those marriages also are Christians. When women put trips on us males that we lust because they don't, so they don't have a problem with that and they're hard on us. And yet they're materialistic and they're addicted to television and their SUVs and their dogs and put inordinate amounts of affection. I will stand behind everything I said about the problems that are within the culture of many American women. I will not back up. I am not being double minded when I go out on a date with one because I believe in the way God gives us a second chance. I believe in meeting an individual and taking her as an individual and then letting her show me what she is. When I say that I'm against white women, I am against a lot of them. But if somebody approaches me and seems to have an interest and she seems to have got it together in some areas, why not go to dinner? I didn't marry her. I didn't go to bed with her. I don't see a contradiction there. I do not see a contradiction opening up the Facebook page when people have asked for it. 
to download the photos and shut it down is next to an impossibility. So I thought, let's try. And if it becomes a problem, I'll check out of the whole thing. But I thought, well, people have asked, many have asked, and I thought it's time. You will see pictures of Hong Kong. You'll see a smattering of stuff in there. And I thought, what a great place to post my YouTube videos as well. Several of you have already taken me up on it. Thank you. And again, it is Pacific Oceana, two separate words, P, capital P, and then capital O, Lakewood or Denver, Colorado. Add me. I'll add you. My rules are behave. If you're going to be rude and you're going to do that, I'm just going to block. I'm not going to play games. I just end it because this is, this is the world we live in today. And of course, we're going to have trolls. Hannah Lone, if you're listening to this video, um, don't get on somebody's site without a photo. Don't have a way not to reach you back except through a little chat box. I'm not in the mood for that. I like my accusers to look me in the face and have something to say to me. Um, if you'd like to Skype me and show your face, then I'll think that maybe you're a woman who has some guts. But don't write your silly little tripe and accuse me of being hypocritical. I have every right to change my mind and open up Facebook and calling me unstable and saying that I should not be in a relationship. Why don't you let God determine that? And then you even added that maybe uh, God has left me because I'm not quite so spiritual. What a bunch of crap. Um, crazy. My Bible says God will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's pretty clear. Um, have I left him? No, I have not. Do I struggle as a human? I do. And I'm going to remind you, Hannah, that you don't like me and that's fine. But there are women around the world that like me, don't see me as unstable. And I'm going to tell you something. If they were here, they would marry me. No questions asked. And I don't need your tribe. Bye-bye, Hannah Lone whoever you are. Pacific puts his videos out here. I don't see yours and I don't even see your face pic. If you're truly from Denver, as I saw the only one in there is from Denver, you fit the exact description of the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, about this area of women. Another loser with a capital L. <clears throat> and I have a frog in my throat that you probably put there. Why don't I blame you for that? Okay. So, I vented my spleen, and I am going to stand up and be bold in my confrontation with this stuff, because you're confronting me, and if you want to be a mouse that eats a hole through the wall, and show your little head, and say your little comments, and then scurry back away, I'm going to call you out. Okay? This is my forum. This is my channel. I stand behind everything I said, and to my viewers, if you think I'm being double standard, okay. I don't feel that I am. I will continue to talk about the deficit of white women culture. But if you pay attention, I've talked about the deficit of many African Americans in the Hispanic community within America. And yes, I've even talked about the Asians that come to America and their money, 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 materialism. We talk about everything, including my own faults, but Hannah alone is not going to get on and ever talk about her faults because she is in a broad category, a broad generalized category of American women that don't believe they ever sin or do anything wrong. And it's okay for them to have their expectations on us men that are higher than the entrance exams for Yale, Harvard, Princeton, which is now run by a lesbian reverend, ironically. I, I am not going to back up. It's women like you that give me the material that I can use you as cannon fodder. <laughs> Done. You sunk your own ship, lady, and it sits at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. <clears throat> so, fan club, welcome aboard the launching, the opening of Pacific's Facebook. Let's have fun. This is Pacific signing off. Bye-bye.